Right, so a little while ago I tried planting Kliltiktapotl, which is a very hard to pronounce name for Diasparus de Gaina, which is also called the chocolate pudding fruit or the black sapote. Now this is a Central American tree which is from a wetter environment that we are in, so I was a little bit cautious about it because it was not a cheap tree and also I don't know from looking at a sapling, and I don't know if there is a way to know looking at a sapling whether it's going to be male or female, and usually in Diasparus those are separate. So this is the Persimmons, the Ebony's, the Jackalberries, and the some of the Sapotes. Um, and so it was quite a decision to decide whether I should get multiple so I can have insurance that I will have at least one female when I don't know for certain they're going to survive here. So I contacted the person who breeds them in Zambia, and I asked him whether he thought that if it is a female, it would be possible to ultimately graft it onto one of our much more drought-tolerant native diasparus, which is the Jacoberry diasparus mispilliformis, which can tolerate about a quarter of the rain we usually get here um, without any real problems, and usually that is the purpose of grafting, is to make, make a, a, a sky a little bit more tolerant of the environment it's going into, so something from a wetter environment, something from a cooler or hotter environment can then coat a little bit better, not as well as the, the, the sort of rootstock, but better than it would without that. Having seen where he grows his, which, which is in the significantly heavier soils, which do retain water better, and also it is in an area where there is surface water, which is not the case here and hasn't been, as far as I know, during human history, uh, it does seem like they are more tolerant than I have given them credit for, and his response to my question was to say, yes, you could technically do that, but why would you bother, because jackalberries are really slow, and just gave me um, some more to make sure that I had uh, the stock to balance for that. He did say his parent one is a solitary female who has never had a male of the same species nearby, and so all the seeds that he's grown are from that, and so hopefully that'll be a genetic trait and they will all be self-fertile females, but we will see. Anyway, that is going into a fairly shady area. I have actually topped the Dracaenas that you can see the stems of beside this uh, to let a little bit more light down in here. I'm going to be using those elsewhere for planting, um, but I am not putting much in the way of ground covering here because as well as the canopy way above the Dracaenas here, we've also got quite a lot of the Kalinko Pinata and the Comalina Communis that come up here regularly. So we don't want to create too much density here because both those can get as tall as the sapling quite quickly and I don't want it to have absolutely no light in what will effectively be its best growing period in our local well-drained soil lack of water conditions. Um, I am going to be giving it a piece of Hidikim which has snuck under a tap and keeps getting squashed by a bucket every time I go and fill it up. And I'm also going to be putting in a piece of the Sansevieria Downsy which is one of the only native Sansevierias that I planted around uh, the Pete's Dragon Dracaena a while ago which actually got eaten by the mole rats. All the other natives have been fine, all the other non-natives have not. This is a native species but it did not stand up to the mole rats, but this area doesn't tend to get so much of them, it's a little bit denser with things under the ground I guess, and it's a little less appetizing, so this will be going in as a prickly ground cover to keep the chickens from getting too close to this and disturbing its roots while it's settling in. We are doing a second planting tonight, not to cover for another night, just, just because it's a good time to do multiple plantings, because it is wet in the soil at the moment. We're going to be starting with one of those big pieces of Dracaena that I'd cut off to open this area up a little bit. Um, and that is going to be stripped down and then accompanied by Diasparus mispilliformis, the jackalberry, which is a native tree. It can tolerate very little rain, but it usually in Zambia grows riverine. It can grow on termite mounds, it can grow a very long way away from water. A large part of the reason it's often riverine, like a lot of trees here, seems to be more its fire intolerance than its water requirements. But this is an area that gets a lot of runoff from a large roof. Uh, it's, it's far enough away from that roof, it shouldn't end up interfering with it, but close enough that it should end up shading that building from a little bit of the sun and making things a little bit less hot and unbearable in there. This one is very small and they are quite slow growing at least to get started, so we're going to be giving it quite a lot of companion plants just to mark it out because this is an area where the grass will come up a lot and it will be very easy to lose this if it isn't well marked out. So we're going to be starting with one of the aloes. This is the aloe sort of CF neariensis. I think it's a tetraploid one. A friend who knows aloes did say it's a hybrid, but all the East African tetraploids are technically hybrids, they're just very old ones that have sort of semi-natural ranges. So as far as I can tell it's probably that one, and then I'm also going to be surrounding this with pieces of the Euphorbia tithomoloides, the Devil's Backbone, which should also form a tap toxic barrier as well as being a nice little thicket to keep this tree exposed if we do have another sudden unexpected hot dry spell while this poor tiny little sapling is trying to get itself settled. And that should be everything for tonight, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it, and if you haven't enjoyed it, thank you for watching anyway. Please tune in again tomorrow because I will be planting something different. I am not sure what yet, but I do have a few options, so we'll see.